what's up YouTube, German from Mascos here today. Um, this is going to be a short um, vlog style video where I'm going to show you all of my camera equipment. Um, like all my GoPros, my cameras, uh, mounting stuff, stuff like that. Um, and I'm also going to show you my editing software and how I use that. Um, and if you guys have been wondering why I haven't been like putting out many fishing videos like I normally do, um, it's winter here in Pennsylvania. And um, winter time in Pennsylvania is like really weird. Um, some days it's really cold and you can go ice fishing and some days it's really warm and you can go, I don't know, just to a regular creek or pond. But um, right now it's been acting very weird. Um, I haven't been able to find safe ice so I can't go out yet. Um, yeah, I'm currently waiting that. I'm really itching to get out to bring you guys a video of that. Um, but let's just get into the live. Well right now I'm just contemplating life. Um, I wanted to say let's get started with this episode and I said let's get started with IPE. IPE. Like IPE. Ipe. Well, that's going bloopers. Alright guys, so I'm just going to get started with the cameras, um, which are my GoPros. Alright guys, so the GoPros that I have are these GoPro Heroes. Nothing special, they're like the budget version of um, any of the like, normal GoPros. And I have three of them. They're really good cameras actually, like despite the price and whatever. They only have a few options on them. But they're um, HD cameras, they HD action cameras, they're waterproof, um, they record up to 10, yeah, 1080, 30, which isn't like the norm, it's like normally 1080p, 60 for most GoPros. Um, here, let me just show you. So basically, there it is up close, basically got the selections there, it says 1080p, 30. Um, yeah, that's basically my GoPro selection, so like I said, I had three of them. Um, only like $130 each. Really good starting out cameras for any YouTuber. Um, let me go to my next camera, actually. So my next camera, um, ironically, not ironically, is uh, this. My iPhone 6. Really good camera for filming, actually. It films up to 1080p60. Um, focuses and everything. It's a really good camera. Um, I've actually used this for all of my vlogs, basically. Um, not GoPros, because GoPros don't focus. But I do notice this thing fails under like low light conditions and it fails um, in high light conditions. Like when there's too much light, it fails like really badly. All right, guys. So the next section I'm going to show you are stuff like the accessories that um, I use with my GoPros. And um, this is what any YouTuber basically has. They have the, the back doors for the GoPros. So the first one is the skeleton ones where you can uh, use it for volume, like days where it's like not windy at all. Um, and volume is key. Um, there's these two ones where you can actually plug in the charger in the back and no, you can't access the SD card, but um, with an easy click open, you can access that. And the next one is like the, oh wait, is that one the skeleton one? Whatever, no, the wind back door. The wind back door is this one. Um, basically, saw solid back, you can't access the thing. That's the entirely waterproof case. Um, really helpful for when you're like filming underwater releases or stuff like that. Um, and the stuff I use that come with it, are basically just the screws that I can plug into these things and onto my different mounts. Um, my first mount is basically the sticky one, um, the curved one. I do have a flat one, but it's on my uh, skiing helmet right now, so I'm not gonna get that. Um, my other, my other um, mount uh, per se is this thing. Um, it's originally a telescope tripod, but um, I DIY'd it and modified it and made myself um, a GoPro mount with like the belt clip. Um, and I just duct taped it on. Um, it's actually really good. I can use it as a tripod setup. It can watch me while I fish, or I can use it as a vlogging stick and um, just film myself. And then the next one I have is the one that you see in all of my fishing videos, um, which is the chesty mount. And I did wrap it up with some camel stuff because my friend went hunting and he needed a good chester out. Um, this thing, the only problem I would say with it is it's really hard, for, well, for me at least, it's really hard for me to like. Um, tighten it and stuff, so it's usually loose, and I have to like, um, I don't know, tape it, <laughs> tape it to my chest and stuff like that. So for the next thing I have, and as you could see there, I was really trying not to say um, and I'll put an um count in the top right corner for you guys. Um, for the next one that I don't go anywhere without is a GoPro charger and a portable charger. So whenever I'm filming an episode, my GoPro is always fully charged, never run out of battery. I mean, it did run out of battery in one of my most important times when I was finding a stingray on the beach in um, Cape May. The only time my GoPro ran out was when I hooked up to that fish and I fought it. So I had someone else recording that for me. And I'll link that video up above too. So yeah, there's basically all my stuff. That's all the filming aspect of stuff. This is the stuff that I use to film. Um, 
in all my videos stuff like that and i'll show you the behind the scenes stuff so there's my computer but this is the thing that lets me read the sd cards that i use for this stuff and um so that basically concludes this part of the video i'm going to roll into the um, editing software section of this video all right guys so ironically like i forgot to show you the camera that i was filming with in the first place so the camera that i was filming with in the first place was my new gopro hero session or gilbert hero 4 session um Basically, it's my new favorite camera already. Small, lightweight, can use it, whatever. Um, oh, let's see, what else should I say about this? Okay, so the bottom mount that I have on here is just sort of like a flat one that I use to put on the table to like videotape myself. Um, and also, the reason this camera is so awesome is because it comes with three different settings. It comes with 1080p 30 Super View, which is already better than my other GoPros. It comes with 1080p 60, um, which that those other ones didn't have and it has 1440p 30 which is what I'm recording with um, on the other ones so right now you're seeing on it on a GoPro hero right now um, yeah that basically concludes it I forgot to um, add that in there and um, let's get rolling to the other section alright guys so I'm gonna show you guys the software part of this video the like the video editing software that I use um, and that would be cyberlink power director 12 ultra or is it no it's yeah it's 12 um, this came with my computer and I upgraded it for like $120 and um, so this would originally this whole thing is like $350 um, I love this editor it's easy to use but it comes with a lot of functions so let me just show you all that so this is what the main screen looks like for your editing screen and it just comes with a bunch of presets so you can like check out what, like whatever you want it comes with an FX um, page so you can put any kind, type of effect that you want on any of your clips it comes with tons of them um, it comes with this page so you can put like um, thought thingies on your head or something. It comes with effects like stars come down, titles, title page, um, transitions. Got a bunch of them. There's just tons and tons and tons. Um, audio mixing, microphone. Um, there's like a capture thing so I could record myself on this. But um, overall, it's a really good editor. I'm going to be using this for a long time without having to um, upgrade to like Final Cut Pro or something. Whatever those other ones are. Oh, cool. Look. So this is like recording myself right now. There we go. Alright guys, that basically concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and most importantly, please subscribe to help me get to that 300 mark. Um, I'll be closing up on there soon and um, really appreciate it, guys. Um, and also, please check out my new sponsor, Wu Tung Center. I'm part of their pro staff, and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys go check it out. It helped me out a lot. See you guys later.